Yeah, this is my uh, mark fuel with a rigging strap and engine. I think these decks are more or less safe. This is a twin deck, of course. Right, so what's happening is making a, a really bad noise. And I thought it was a blaze that wasn't sharp. I'm going to sharpen them, but they're not bad, really. They're not bad. But I will sharpen them. But uh, what I've found is that the cause and the problem was in there, was trapped. Well, I'll show you. I put them on my bonfire. I think some of the grass was a bit like straw but also I've probably been shattered one of those there you could put all this all this was around the bearing to push the blades and pushed it up and they were fighting to turn for this stuff probably a bit more than that So I'm finding the same problem that I had my old motor and I did all that and made a film on it, a video. But uh, so somebody, somebody's had a go here with some fiberglass or something, and uh, I'm going to get, I'm going to get a flat wheel on my grinder and smooth it all down. I've already cleaned it a lot. And I've also found a piece of rotten here and I'm going to make a new piece of tin. These are not bad size, but I'm going to make a new piece of tin. This slides into a plastic container anyway, on the inside, but uh, you don't want anything that's going to stop the grass from freely going up into the Waski. I found this ride on very good. I like the foot pedal for forward and reverse, no changing gears. And uh, it's a real powerful machine. So it's worth salvaging. So here goes, I'll carry on cleaning it up. And then maybe put some uh, fiberglass filler on. And, and then uh, some good paint, I'm right maybe. Yeah, that's uh, roughly got it down, got rid of most of the rust. Uh, I think uh, I think the paint the uh, paint will be okay so it's not flaky. Um encoded with some uh, like red lead I don't think it is red lead because I think it became illegal with the lead but the uh, um, mask is essential when you grinding and flat wheeling the uh, uh, paint off of course the best way to do it would have been uh, shop blasting but I haven't got a shop blaster if you think it's your mower is worth taking and having it shot blasted, <coughs> then that obviously is the best way. And then just look at any holes or little bits that need repairing. Now these have been repaired before. I think it looks like uh, Cataloy. If it is Cataloy, I'm surprised it's held on so long because Cataloy is not waterproof. Um, the best one of the lot is uh, fiberglass like this like this this is waterproof not like catalog so I put some on my old uh, decking my old mower and uh, it lasts forever now this here, this is the bad piece that's fastened on down here 
and here these sides are okay but it comes up here as well I think so that's got to come off of that piece um, and shape a bit of tin to uh, to replace it it's not worth trying to budge that so then I'm just going to get a, a chisel and go over bits where I've missed sharp chisel which will get something like and then probably and probably go over it with this uh, sorry then probably go over it with this which is nowhere near as good as flat this but Sorry, I can't hold it very firm with one and the camera and the other. But anyway, that's the next move is to go over everywhere I've missed. That uh, I think would paint would cover it properly. So that's my next move, anywhere like that. I didn't film me taking this off, but you'll see me putting it back with the same procedure. I find it quite uh, easy compared to another one as well. But anyway, I'm going to clean it up and get it get a good coat of uh, hammerite, a bit of thick coat. I would like to get it too, but too much wasn't quite big enough, and it's really expensive. But that'll keep it going some years. When I get further on, I've got to get in there and this new uh, piece of tin, put rivet it on, shaped it. This was the uh, the old one. So as you can see, it was ready. So I've just come up to. Uh, put it back on because it's, it's dry now but I might just uh, finish on the inside of that now because when that's on and maybe the outside because when this pushes it into another channel uh, underneath which you have to lift the back of the uh, truck up or mower <laughs> and it goes in here which is thinks it's plastic so that's not gonna rot. You know it's nice and so it just slides in there. But these are really easy to uh, slip on both sides and then rather than under these adjustments just one just one nut on there, same other side and uh, just take the belt off this pulley up there the bottom belt bottom belt and then you've got you've got it so this one must be for the drive so anyway uh, I'm just going to put a bit more paint on it and then I'm going to bring it back and I'll show you how it goes on just manoeuvring it for that to drop back in. I'm just going to go down a little bit on the jack. You know, I don't want it to go too much. Top it at that. She needs to go forward a bit. Mm, no. Yeah, quite a bit. Just put the camera down. Yeah, I just had to uh, put the ball, ball on there to lift that slightly. Well that one's in and the other side's in. 
that node is that hole, not that one. That hole. But this got adjustment up here, but rather than uh, me bothering taking it off, I'm going to try and lift it up again. And this, uh, so that I can slot it in. Yeah, that looks really. I'm going to have to put the camera down, I'm sorry. Yeah, I had to wedge this because it, were, it wouldn't stop in that uh, lower position. So it's got it now, but when I got everything off it, it wouldn't stop in it. So, it. so now I could put it on the floor, lowest position. I've got that one in. A little bit of a struggle, but not bad. Now there's a... Uh, there's a big wash that goes on it and there's uh, one of these clips this one is more open than the one because it has to go on from the back because the way they pull out but not in the well yeah with the iron side this last one was a bit awkward to put in could have scored out of him once, but it came up. So I've sunk that nut there, do it. The nut were right up there, so it's not altering any adjustment. Not exactly where to put it by. But I can lift it up now and get it in position. Just a little bit more. Right. That's it in position. I've got to just push it back now enough to drop this in. And then that's the last of them, just got to tighten everything up. Yeah, the drive belt just goes on. That's the guide to keep it in place. And it just goes around them other pulleys, and two pulleys. This is the uh, belt for the cutting deck. And then it goes around this big pulley here. Which I'm hoping will go fairly easy. I mean, it's slack at the minute. Mm. But I'm gonna have to put camera down, sorry. Yeah, that was easy enough. Just hold that then with your thumb and then turn the pull, pull in, it'll follow in. So that's that on. Make sure that this is right. Yeah. And then uh, put that cover on there, which I wish I had took off for no reason really. But I did, so I'll put it back on. Yeah, cover back on. No problem. Just check to see if this goes up and down right. Yeah, click through here. Then, yeah, ratchet's okay. Doing okay. Not like that end can do it really. Um, so that's it. What I intend to do this winter, I'm going to take it off again. And where I put rid of that other one, I'm going to fiberglass, um, like a I want to cut a little pipe in, split it down, and then fiberglass it all them joints. Cause it's all about how, how good it fronts it up here, the grass. Don't get binding on anything. So, that might be a job if I do do it. Take it off again in winter. Just check everything, clean it up again. Maybe paint top. Anyway, that's for another day. And that's the, uh, the name of it. And she's got a lovely big basket so you're not running to empty it all the time. It's really good. Well, I love it. I like the fact that uh, look, the accelerator's here and you just put your heel on there for reverse. So it's not mucking about where you're changing gears. So, yep. Yeah.